Hello ladies and gentlemen, Secure 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the M5A1 Stewart. The M5 Stewart was a improvement upon the M3 Stewart. The M5 Stewart was designed to relieve wartime demand for the radial aero engines used in the M3. A new version was developed using the twin Cadillac V8 automobile, automobile engines and twin Hydra uh, Matic transmissions operating through a transfer case. This version of the tank was quieter, cooler, and roomier. The automatic transmission also simplified crew training. The new model, initially called the M4 but redesigned M5 to avoid confusion with the M4 Sherman, featured a redesigned hull with a raised rear deck over the engine compartment. Slope glazes plate and driver's hatches moved to the top. Although the main criticism from units using the Stewart's was that it lacked firepower, the improved M5 series kept the same 37mm gun. The M5 gradually replaced the M3 in production from 1942 and after the M7 project proved unsatisfactory was succeeded by the light tank M24 in 1944. Both M5 and M5A1 tank production was at 8,885 and additional 1,778 M8 75mm howitzer motor carriages based off the M5 chassis with an opened up turret were produced so yeah the m5a1 steward here kind of the peak uh design here for the stewards uh, i guess it's peak evolution uh again kind of made the tank look a little bit kind of more modernized compared to the m3 tank which definitely still kind of had that interwar type design to it uh was very kind of boxy and uh, basically resulted in a lot of uh you know weak areas of the tank. Uh, adding the sloped plates on the front here and just kind of adding a little bit more sloping around the tank gave it a little bit more uh, of a better protection. And um, yeah, overall pretty cool tank. Uh, M5A1, definitely my favorite version of the Stuart for sure. And this is going to be a nice redesign for a very old design for the M5A1. So definitely a much needed remake. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and kind of uh, take a look here at the vehicle and then we'll go ahead and jump into the tutorial from there. So starting off with, we have obviously the front glazes plate here um, with the uh, hull mounted machine gun and also the main 37mm gun with a coaxial machine gun as well mounted on the front here. After we have uh, that, we have the turret obviously with a mounted 30 caliber machine gun here for on the top here. And uh, all the track system, all that kind of stuff, and we flew to the back here. And we have that raised engine deck here on the back, which uh, was, uh, you know, one of the main tells of a uh, M5A1 uh, Stewart. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the design. Pretty simple build overall, and will make a great uh, vehicle to add into kind of your mid to late war scenarios as a U.S. light tank. With that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layers here, we're going to go ahead and start with layer 0 and 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be placing down a nether brick slab like this, followed by a nether brick top slab coming off of it, just like that. After that's all complete there, uh, we're going to be going ahead and then building back from the tracks here. Um, so we're going to be going ahead and taking our uh, grindstones, and we're going to be going ahead and building back from it. So we're going to place down grindstone here, one coming off this one, one coming off this grindstone, same thing here like this going back. So the grindstones are going to be coming off each other like that. If you're on uh, bedrock, I do not believe you're able to do that. If that's the case, then just go ahead and place down the grindstones on top of these narrow brick blocks like that. That will also uh, work. But however, the best uh, design here is to go with a design that looks like this here for your wheels. Um, either way, uh, once we have that done, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood fence gate after that, followed by again a narrow brick block on the ground there for the tracks. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a green shulker box. We're going to place down a green shulker box on its side like so. Coming off the shulker box, we're going to place down an item frame and a green terracotta block in the item frame. And if you're on Java Edition, we can place down a dark oak wood button on the side there of that block or that shulker box as well. If you are on console or uh, sorry, bedrock, you will not be able to place down uh, the button in the item frame in the same spot. If that's the case, just always choose the item frame over the block. We're going to go ahead and place down an air brick upside down stair that goes back like so. And then go ahead and go into the shulker box. We're going to go one, two, and three dark oak with top subs over. And then this air brick slab here, again, three top subs over. And then from this point here, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the space between our slabs here, like this, closing that area off like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down an air brick slab here, top slab. And we're going to then place down our blocks here in the ground. And we're just going to be going ahead and design the same track design we used over on the air side. So this is going to be the exact same thing. And we're just going to go and basically do this here uh, to the sides. So again, same exact thing. Just like this. 
for our wheels here, item frames along the sides, and our green terracotta blocks and the item frames like that. So pretty uh, straightforward stuff there, and that right there is going to complete uh, the tracks. And the last things we're going to do here for a little bit of detail is we're going to place down an Arabic fence gate, kind of off this middle top side here in the front, open up toward it. And then on the rear here, we're going to place down a uh, fence gate here, come off the center slab, and then coming off that fence gate, we're going to place down a zombie head, like so. With that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, 0 and 1. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 2. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green uh, terracotta block on top of these two narrow brick slabs, and then a green sugar box on that side going forward. We then want to take our dark liquid signs. We're going to wrap them around the sides here of these shulker boxes. Same thing over here as well. And after that, we're going to go ahead and take our dark liquid stairs and place down a row of three between those blocks, just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta blocks, place down a row of three across, and then a second row of three across as well, followed by a dark liquid ups down stair, linking to both sides like that, with a dark liquid sign on the sides of these stairs, like so. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go then take a item frame, place it on the side of this block, cobweb in the item frame and a dark liquid button like that. And going over here we're going to do the same thing, item frame, cobweb and a dark liquid button like so. We then uh, want to go ahead and take our narrow brick slabs here. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three narrow brick top slabs on both sides like that going back. In the space in between those narrow brick top slabs here we're just going to fill in with three rows of three of uh, narrow brick top slabs. We then want to place down three item frames here along the side, green terracotta blocks in those item frames and dark liquid signs over the sides of the iron frames. Again, if you are on bedrock, you will not be able to put the signs over the iron frames. And if that's the case, you're just going to be going ahead and using the iron frames. So I did forget to put the iron frames on this side as well from the previous layer. So just make sure that, that gets transferred over to uh, this side as well. Uh, but anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to then place down a narrow brick slab on top of that fence gate. Again, a row of three green terracotta across between those blocks and then a dark oak with sign to the sides. We're going to then place down a dark oak with upside down stair in this spot here and to both sides. And on the side of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak with sign. And over here, same thing, dark oak with sign and a row three green terracotta across. We then want to place down a green terracotta block here to both sides like so. Dark oak with trap doors coming off the back of those blocks like that. And we then want to go and take our mossy cobblestone walls and just place down a row three across the center there going all the way across. After that's all complete, that's going to wrap up what we have there for layer number two for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, so going ahead and getting in started with our next row here. Uh, we're going to start off by placing down a dark oak wood stair on this green terracotta block. And we then want to go and place down a quartz stair right here next to it. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall to the side here like so. We're going to go and grab ourselves a chain and coming off the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to go and place down a chain like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down a redstone comparator over here on the left side of the tank. So this side here. And then over on the right side, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a sandstone slab. So just like that. So the cut sandstone slab. We then want to go ahead and place down item frames coming off those uh, two blocks. So the comparator and also the slab there. And we're going to place down a snowball in each of those item frames like that. We then want to take a dark oak sign, and we're going to place down a dark oak sign on top of this green terracotta block and open it up toward the rear there like so. Once we get to this point here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block there in the center, followed by a spruce wood log to both sides here, and then a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the sides of those blocks here to both sides. Taking our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of five across, followed by a second row of five, a third, a fourth, and a fifth row of five going all the way across here. We're going to take dark oak with buttons, and on every other block here, on the side, we're going to place down dark oak with buttons. Same thing over here, like so. After that, we want to go and then place down a dark oak with stair to both sides. We then want to place down a item frame coming off those two stairs, and then in those item frames, we're going to place down some red stained glass panes. We then want to place down a row of three of green terracotta across between those stairs. On the back here, we're going to place down a row of three of narrow brick upside down stairs and we can also place a dark liquid sign if you're on java on the sides here of these stairs like that but if you're on a uh, bedrock just go ahead and disregard the signs with that though that is going to do it for layer number three for the build and with that we'll go ahead and move into layer number four all right guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we have layer number four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go and take our dark liquid stair we're going to place down an upside down stair on top of this green terracotta block and then coming off it we're going to place down two end rods going forward we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on both sides of this dark oak wood stair, and then a green terracotta block directly behind it, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. 
Rigo then placed down a row 3 of green terracotta across, followed by a second row 3 directly after that. Once we get to this point, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a dark liquid button, and then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater and place down a redstone repeater. We will also want to go ahead and go into our creative menu. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, black banner, a loom, and we're also going to need some dark gray dye. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go, ahead and go into our loom, place our black banner and our gray dye, and we're going to go ahead and select the brick pattern like this, and it's going to give us a banner that looks just like this, and we're just going to place on the side of this green terracotta block there for what looks like spare tracks there on the side of the turret. Anyways, once that's done, over here on the other side, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair right here, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate facing in this direction, like so, and then a fence gate right there like so. Actually, sorry, it's going to be like this, opened up toward this one like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door, come off this fence gate. So like this, and then a dark wood sign on the side of that open fence gate like that. After we have uh, that done also, we're going to go and replace this green terracotta block with a spruce, uh, stripped spruce wood log as well. After that, we want to go and then take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, row of five of daylight detectors across. We're going to go and then follow this up by a row of three of spruce wood slabs, and then a zombie head here on both sides. We're going to then take our green terracotta. We're going to do a row of three across. Trip our hook on both sides like that and we then want to go ahead and place down a row three of black concrete across as well followed by a row three of ladders across those concrete blocks and then a dark oak trap door here to both sides and after we have that all done there that is going to do it for layer number four and with that we're going to move into our final layers here layers five six seven eight and nine which we're going to basically put the top of the turret on so that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers 5 through 9. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of this uh, dark oak we had upside down stair. Behind that, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector. And we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak slab. To the right side here, we're going to place down a narrow dark oak slab. And then to the left side, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak slab on top of the spruce, spruce wood log. And then in the corners here, at about... Uh, about slight angles like this, so just very slight. We're going to go and place down a zombie head there to both sides like that. After that's done on the very back here of the turret, we're going to place down a zombie head like this, followed by a dark oak wood fence post on top of the zombie head, and then we're going to go and place down one, two, and three iron bars up like that for the radio antenna. With that done, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of this fence gate here. We're going to then place down a grindstone, which is going to be basically rotated and facing this direction like so. If you're again on a uh, console, you can just place it down like this. You know, either way works, whatever whatever works best for you, whatever kind of works for your restrictions to Minecraft. But we're gonna go and place down that grindstone there, a chain coming off of it, and then we're gonna go and follow this up by placing down a wither skeleton skull like this on the back here. Now once we have that done, we wanna go and then take a zombie head, we're gonna place it down to the left side of the grindstone, and over to the right side, we're gonna place down a dark oak with sign, uh, we're going to go grab an item frame and a black bed. We're going to place down an item frame and a black bed like that, rotated so that the pillow is facing forward like that for the 30 caliber machine gun. After that's all complete, on the back here, we're just going to place down three dark oak buttons across and then a row of three of spruce wood pressure plates like that to go and finish off the back. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design here for the M5A1 Stewart. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.